Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brooke Capel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe, turn on your post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, today is Message Monday, so I really wanted to share, um, I had just listened to the sermon that was preached at the Bethany Conference in Baton Rouge that my grandparents and a bunch of members of our church went to. And my aunt and my grandma both were telling me how great this message was and to go and watch it. So, Dustin and I watched it yesterday and um, it really touched my heart. I actually, I watched it the day before and then rewatched it again with Dustin yesterday. Um, the first time I cried like a baby because I really felt God talk like he was speaking to me. Um, so go check it out. It was Paul Doherty. I, I don't know if I said his last name right, but... It was amazing about raising your standards. Um, and I'm going to just share the scripture first real quick. And it is Romans 8, 28. And we know with great confidence that God who is deeply concerned about us causes all things to work together as a plan <laughs> who love God to those who are called according to his plan. And <laughs> Lion is currently watching PJ Masks, so he's a little excited, so just, um, sorry about the background yeah. noise, but I wanted to share this yeah. picture because I feel yeah. like we get scared to step yeah. out, we get scared to step out of our comfort zone, we get scared to raise the standard in our lives because we, we don't know what to expect because it's new territory, and I feel like this this right here just says it like with great confidence we know that God will work everything out for our good that he can turn around any situation that he can turn around any circumstance we just have to trust in him we have to give him our complete and utter trust and have great confidence that that he will do what he says that he will because we are all called called to to play some part in in his kingdom to play some part on this earth um, to reach people for him, to show his love, to show his mercy and his grace. And that is why I'm doing this YouTube channel because this is where I feel like I'm called for this season in my life. I don't know if, if, I, if I'll always do YouTube, but for right now I feel like this is where God has me stepping out and trusting in him because I'm super shy. I'm super awkward in person. <laughs> I'm working on that though, but... He has given me a confidence to do these videos and to speak his word. And it's because I, I have that trust in him that that if I'm doing what he has called me to do, I can do all things through Christ. He strengthens me. He works through me. The Holy Spirit is working through me. I'm not just doing this on my own. He is, he is, he is doing it with me. And I think that is super important that you get a hold of that so you can raise the standard, standard in your life. To expect more from yourself, to not just settle for being somebody who fills an empty chair at church on Sunday. You know, that was me for such a long time. And then I got to the point where I wanted to be more. I wanted to add something to 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 this, this plan and this purpose that God has for us. I wanted to add something to what God had for me. I wanted to... To open that door for him to work through me. I didn't want to just sit in the chair anymore. I wanted to, I wanted to do something for God. I wanted to, I wanted to answer the call he had on my life, no matter what that meant. And, and I think it's super important that we do that in our jobs, in our relationships, and in our work, walk with God. That we expect more for ourselves. That we set higher standards. That you stop settling for a guy just because you're lonely. That you set standards for yourself. That you set standards for your friendships. That you just don't pick up anybody and everybody just because you don't want to be alone. That you surround yourself with good people. That you surround yourself with people who are going to push you. Um, stop settling in your comfort zone. I know it can be hard to take that step out um, because you might feel stupid or you might feel like you won't succeed or you might feel like you don't have the ability to do it and it's it's not us it's God in us that's able to do it and when you trust that that you are doing what he he has called you to he, he will give you the ability to do it 
Um, the devil, like I said, he doesn't want us reaching our full. He doesn't want us to reach our full potential. He wants us to stay stuck in the same spot in our life, in the same financial struggle, in the same depressed mindset, in the same anxiety lived life. He wants us to stay stuck. But when you step out, God meets you. He helps you grow. He helps you to keep pushing forward. He helps you to have that confidence. And that is me. God has given me the confidence to do this. To It all started with him just giving me a word and I just stepping out in faith and sharing it in church. And um, or sharing whatever word he put on my heart for somebody else or sharing it on Facebook or um, just doing what I feel like he put on my heart to do. I don't want to live in the lowest standard. I want, I want to reach for the highest highest level that God has me going to. I want to get there. I want to reach my fullest potential in his plan and his purpose and his calling in my life. I don't want to waste my life away not ever, ever getting there. And I'm going to leave it off with this statement right here. Whatever standard you set for yourself, mm -hmm. for parents, whatever standard you set for yourself, you're ultimately setting for your kids because they're going to grow up watching whatever standard you lived in. And that they're going to just think that that's, that's the way to do it. We need, to, we need to set a higher standard, not only for ourselves, but for the people who are watching us. For the people who, who are wanting to see God in our lives. Who, who are waiting to see what we are doing in our walk with God. Because there are people watching us, whether it's your younger siblings, whether it's your friends, whether it's your family. Or like I said, whether it's your kids. You know, I want Lion to look back and always see that I was seeking God with all of my heart every day, not just on Sunday. I want him to to look back and always remember the love that I had for God and the love that God has for us. That is my, the most important thing in my life is to raise Lion to know, besides following my, my plan, my calling for God, is that Lion will know that his mom did everything she could to reach her, her fullest potential and what God has for, for me and for our family. So I hope this encourages you. I know I kind of was all over the place, but raise your standard in every area of your life. Open those doors to God. Let him give you the confidence. Let him take you out of your comfort zone. I'm telling you, it was the best decision I ever made, even, even, <laughs> even though it was really hard because I'm just such a shy person. He has changed me and given me a bonus and a confidence like no other, and I couldn't be more thankful. Go check out the video of this of this sermon. It is on Bethany's page. It was, um, I'm serious, it was really good. And 